Okay, this is how to make a Google Form. So you go ahead and you have to click on More and Google Forms. And then, um, I'll just do it like that. Okay, and um, you can title it up here, Voting for, um, I don't know, ELA Project, whatever the name of your project is. Then when you click here, it automatically names it that, or you can change it. So um, we can say, please vote thoughtfully uh, for each category. Okay, now you can, so this one could be um, most creative. Most creative, I would say like that. So you could do multiple choice um, where you could say um, put the kids names in here um, and I wouldn't I wouldn't put all of them up I would put it only the the, the best ones um, okay and then you can do that or you can make that one a short answer and they could type in the name in my experience with Google Forms the more multiple choice and like the the boxes you could do the best better so um i'll say thomas and we'll say abby amanda and, and then you go to however many you want so i would definitely just do the best the ones that you think like kind of do the teacher thing you have to click down here for it to be a required question if you want to duplicate the question, you can. So if you want the same kids, but you probably don't. So then um, that question is all set. So then you can add a question here. So then um, maybe, um, actually, we could do the best narration. And then you can go ahead again and pick some different names. So then, all right, so you have this, so let's, you can have as many of those questions as you want. You can actually add their video right in there. Um, not sure, if they upload it to YouTube, you certainly can do that. Just do it by the URL and put it right in there. Um, uh, let's say, just search for something here. So you could have them watch it and vote for it right here. So. Okay, and then um, um, best, I don't know, pictures, <laughs> terrible. Anyway, so you can go ahead and do that. Um, anyway, so you could change that. Actually, you'd have to see they're not going to let you add questions so you could say uh, so Sophie's video and you could have some you'd have to add another one add questions after that but anyway if you um, oh, there's a different way we do that you can move the questions around you can just literally um, drag the questions around okay so when you're done well actually you can preview it to see how it looks here so that'll show you that and then you can change the color palette and then they give you some different options here you know for pictures you can go through all that and then your settings here now since it's restricted i would restrict it because then you get the you can use their email if you want to limit to one response um you know it's voting you certainly want to do that you decide if you want to edit if you click this one, they get to see basically the, the responses that you get. Um, again, you just kind of go through there and choose what you want. And then here, I don't think you need, um, you don't need a collaborator, collaborator. So when you send it, you can send it by email. So if you copy and pasted their email addresses in there, if you have them in a spreadsheet, you can just do the link. I would say that if you could do their email addresses, it's good because then you know exactly who didn't answer because you can send them a reminder after, you know, some responses come in, you can send them a reminder. 
So anyway, and then you can send it here. You can include the form in the email. There's many different ways to do it. You'll figure out what works best for you. The way I did, the way I got their email addresses in a spreadsheet is I created a new one. So I just created a Google form. And in that Google form, I just asked them I just asked them what their name, so I just said, um, I just said their first and last name, and then I made it required. Then I sent it out just by link. And then when you get it all back, you can get. So this comes back to, so then you can literally just uh, copy and paste. So then I would copy this list, go back here, and when I'm sending it, I can paste it. And you have all of your names right there. I think you just have to get rid of them. So anyway, that works out very well for me. And then when you get your answers back, I'll show you how you get this. How you get the answers back? There we go. Okay. So when you get it back, um, I just made this one for Jefferson. But when you look at the responses, oh, I'm not, yeah, when you look at the responses, um, you get some will you'll get in a bar graph. Um, some you'll get in a pie chart, and then if it's short answer, you'll get them like this. So it's kind of cool uh, how it does it. And then it also gives you the spreadsheet. So, and there you go. So they didn't collect email addresses because it was for parents. But anyway, um, that's really is a handy way to do it. So I know this video is super long, but I do think that... A Google form for voting and for asking any kinds of questions. You can actually make a Google form for quizzes and have it graded. When you look here under the setting quizzes, you can make it a quiz and you know go ahead and do the point values. It's excellent. So I would definitely try that and I certainly can come over and help you or I can make one for you to get started.